now. Oh, guys, what's up? Okay, so I'm going to redo my my uh, mass weight and density uh, stream I did yesterday because I completely massacred that, you guys. I went and rewatched that, and I couldn't get a, a coherent thought out through the whole damn thing, really. So, so I'm going to retry it, okay? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at mass, weight, and density, okay? So... Because a lot of flat earthers think that they're the same thing. And they can't be farther from the truth. Alright, so we're going to start with density, okay? So density has components of mass and volume. While weight is concerned more with, with mass and gravity, okay? So, um, <clears throat> division is used to find an object's density where um, you divide mass over volume. Okay, while weight is mass multiplied by gravity. Okay, you guys following me? Okay. Okay, so um, the units to express density and weight also are different. Uh, Newton's law is used for weight, while the formula for density is a, com a combination of formulas for mass and volume. Okay. Uh, now, density can change with, like, pressure and the temperature of an object. Um, when the temperature or pressure of an object changes, then the density can change. Okay. Um, okay, density deals with four extensive properties of matter. Mass, height, length, and width, which constitutes volume, which is volume. While weight, it only deals with mass and gravity. Gravity is an optional property and only applies when the object is in motion. So, I hope you guys are all following me and getting it all, okay? So, um, weight equals force of gravity on an object, okay? Mass is the amount of matter on, an object occupies, okay? Now, volume is how much a three-dimensional space, how much of an... A, is, Okay, volume is how much three-dimensional space an object occupies. Okay, so in other words, um, how tightly the atoms are packed together, I guess you could say. Um, de it density calculates the mass and the volume, which is the height. The volume is the height, the width, and the length of it, while the weight has an outside force as a component, which is gravity, of course, and mass of an object. All right, everybody following me? So... Um, like I said, den density is subject to the environment. You know, like the way the environment can change, like for pressure and the temperature of that object. So, the, but the weight never changes unless the gravity or the mass of the objects change. So, so damn it, I'm all up in fucking spider web every which way. And that was the spider right there. Ah! Sorry guys. Oh my god, I hate spiders. Why was there a spider web on my porch? Hang on guys, sorry. Wow. Really seriously? A freaking spider was on me. I freak out about spiders. Sorry guys. I don't care that the weight and the density of the spider is small. <laughs> Dude, they still freak me out. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. It was just a little bitty spider. It's right there. Right there. I killed that sucker. <laughs> right there. <laughs> but. So. So basically, you guys, there. That, that basically, you know, that basically tells you pretty much. That explains the difference between density, weight. And mass, okay? So, no density or not, mass and density are not the same thing. Even though flat earthers like to think that they are, um, um, they also like to think, flat earthers also like to think, say, you know, guys, we all know that ain't flat earthers. Sunset, a sunset destroys and a sunrise destroys flat earth period 
Nothing that they can come up with makes sense on that, okay? Period. They've come up with this new thing now that they're trying to say that, that oh, the sun and the moon are local and they spin opposite of 180 degrees from each other. If that's the damn case, how in the hell do you ever see how do you ever see a, uh, an eclipse if they're always 180 degrees away from each other? Okay? Uh, and how they like to rotate on the Tropic of Cancer for um, summertime and the Tropic of uh, Capricorn for winter. And makes no sense. Okay? It also makes no sense if there was a, if the, small, the sun was small and local. It makes no sense that the higher we get up in the sky... Uh, the colder it gets. How does that make any sense? I mean, can these flat earthers really... I mean, what the fuck? Snow... Mountains have snow on top of them. The majority of the high mountains have snow-capped mountains. How is that possible? How can a... How can a... Um, a mountain with an elevation of 6,000 feet have snow on it? If it's closer to the sun. Because that mountain range has a celestial noon to it. You know what I mean? So that means that somewhere, I mean, every time during the day, that sun is going to be right over top of that mountain, and that mountain top is going to be 6,000 miles closer to the sun itself if it's small and local. So, how in the hell could there be snow on it, guys? It would be hotter the higher we got up, not colder. And they got this new thing where they say that the sun... Instead of sun, it doesn't really set right. They say that, they say that, this is how they explain it, that it's not really setting over the horizon. What we're seeing is the sun's angular size, that it gets farther away and it's a perspective of angular size. But yet, during the sunset and the sunrise, the angular size of the sun never changes. Okay? So that blows that out of the water. Not to mention, if that was the case, we could easily wait for the last rays of sunshine, and then look have a have a telescope set up right at the sun, and wait for it to uh, disappear because supposedly it gets smaller away, and then we can't see it no more because it's so far away. Then we should be able to look right into that uh, telescope immediately and bring the sun right back into view. Or binoculars, or whatever. Not do what I did in the sixth grade and lay down flat on a surface with a clear view of the horizon. And as soon as the last rays of sunset um, went under the horizon, uh, jumped up to our to my feet and watched another sunset. That would be one hundred percent impossible. But it's not. You know, for instance, like. All the flights at your local airport that take off at sunset, right? Watch those flights. If it's close to sunset when they take off, you know, even within an hour probably of sunset, watch them planes. The higher they get up in the air, once they get to a certain height, they'll, they'll be lit up by the sun again because they've went up high enough to where the sun can reach them you see what i'm saying because of the curve so that makes no sense um another guy who who's a, who does a lot of science um videos his red's rhetoric and he he photographs a lot of rocket launches he lives down in florida and he just did the falcon heavy rocket and the atlas uh, rocket um it, they took off in the dark it was dark out when they took off when they launched and then they got up to a certain height, and you could see the sun reflecting on them. And it was a, they were both really good shots, you guys. I mean, you guys should watch it. Go to Res Rhetoric. Very good pictures of them, man. The, it showed the um, expansion of the gases that coming out of the back of the rockets, guys. And, you know, when it hit, you could tell right when it hit um, uh, pretty close. You know, when it hit the outer space. When it hit zero Gs, basically. You could see the the expansion of the gas out the back of the rocket was amazing. It was, and the sun was just hitting it right. It was perfect. It was beautiful. But, but yeah. So, you know, again, like I was saying, I don't know if I said before, um, flat earthers like to talk about pre gas pressure. 
Um, they have one guy named J.M. Truth who somehow went to college, uh, some community college or online college or whatever, said he did a year and got his master's of science, and now he's doing videos on YouTube, and he's a flat earther in a science lab coat, acting like he's a fucking scientist now, a physicist, saying how reading the, the definition of gas pressure, saying that gas pressure and atmospheric pressure are the same, and they're not. Um, our atmosphere has a gradient, 14.7 PSI right down here on Earth, and gradually goes to zero, i.e. outer space. That's why we don't need a containment, a container for our atmosphere. Gravity does the work for it in place of a, 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 of a container. Um, you could kind of say that gravity is the container. Um, but atmospheric pressure doesn't need a container. Um, for instance, storms, thunderstorms, tornadoes, things like hurricanes, them are all pre different pressures in an open system, which is our globe. Um, so, you know, they just don't, they just don't know what they're talking about. They take and nitpick science and they, or they'll read it and they'll get the wrong impressions and think that they know more than actual scientists that do this every day of their life and went to, you know, 10 years of college for it. Um, it's called the Dunning-Kruger effect, guys. Look it up. It's a real fucking, like, mental issue where people think that they're smarter than you know that they're they're that they know everything about a subject for you know like this dude J.M. Truth thinks he's a scientist. He literally thinks he's a scientist because he got a a a, a degree at a com online college or a community college and said he got a master's or a bachelor's degree in one year, and it was in communications, which is a branch of science, but it doesn't make you a fucking physicist, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it blows me away. But anyways. So there's our, lesson, our lessons, guys, on on uh, mass, weight, and density. That's the difference. If you're a flat earther and you can't figure it out, that's not my fault. That's not anybody else's fault. That's your own problem. But, you know, don't be like JM Truth. And Sorry, guys, I'm itching. And, and uh, pretend you're a fucking physicist and you know more than everybody else. Especially when you get gas pressure. And atmospheric pressure wrong. You know. I mean. That just is a real fucking idiot. So. Anyways. Basically I'm saying. Don't be an idiot. And be a flat earther. News now how? Signing out.